Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Desiree Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you would like a book of private reading, all you have to do is check into my description box down below in the video, and it'll show you my rates, what email to go to, how to pay, and, you know, the times that I do the readings and stuff like that. So, without further ado, everything I say here is all alleged and for insane purposes only. Okay, so let's get it. Oh, yeah, until modern science can prove otherwise, right? So, anywho, let's get into this date and Alexis and Krishan Rock and Blueface T. So, as you know, Krishan Rock went on Jason Lee channel, went on Chase, um, Jason Lee platform, and he interviewed her. I watched the interview. It seems to me like everything got to be about Blueface, okay? Everything got to be about Blueface for me, right, when it comes to her. And it's kind of sad because I want to hear nothing but what you're doing. I don't want, I don't care about no Blueface when it comes to you because we already, you Blueface out. Like, you blue, you pop a Smurf Blueface out. So I don't really care about listening to what you got to say about Blueface. What about your career? Talk about your career and only your career. But now nah, you want to talk about Blueface, bleed him. Okay, so, and also the same thing with Blueface too. But, you know, so I listen and then I listen to the reactions of some people. And, you know, you can tell, you can tell that um, certain people that follow Krishan only want to hear a certain narrative about Krishan because it's two particular people, Voodoo Doll TV and uh, Nick at Night, who really does say a lot of stuff that makes sense. But it just seems like, you know, when they're doing their lives, their live chat, it's like the subscribers, you know, the people in the chat, it's like y'all don't y'all y'all out here really upset because they saying the fact. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know why y'all so mad. Because in all actuality, they ain't saying nothing. They're not saying anything that a family member who cares about Krishan Rock would tell her, you know, to be honest. Um to be honest with you, it seems like most of the content creators who are pro Krishan and everything, a lot of times they don't even feel what they don't even feel the way that they're saying they feel online. Like they really just don't. They're just saying that to blow smoke up her fans behind and pretty much, you know, get in the algorithm and actually, you know make money because it's a big money grab right but they don't they're not really saying what needs to be said and you know and i kind of got inspired to say that because i was on voodoo doll's channel and she was bringing up the same thing about the algorithms and stuff like that and i'm like she is right you know but people won't listen to her because it's not that she's she's wrong it's just that they don't want to hear it because then they'll have to say well shit i've been bamboozled by these other people i've been frequenting who basically praises krishan and downs everybody else i've been bamboozled you know but um for me when i look at krishan and i look at Jaden, i see both aspects and that's why i don't understand how certain people cannot understand how Jaden feels but they can understand how krishan feels so my thing is are you guys because i'm gonna be honest now here's what it's really making me feel like and i don't want to really say it like that but it kind of okay because as women we've as a collective been both we been both as in like as a collective we've been someone who has held someone down we've been the stay-at-home mom we've been the main chick we've been the best friend we've been all those things like that but we also have been the fun one the 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 the, the bestie in the side piece We've also been that. We've also been the sex 
the sex slave, the sex object, and all those things. We've been all that collectively. So that's why I don't understand how you can understand that and not understand that when it comes to those two. Because unless you've only been a side piece, and I, I, I'm hoping that y'all never, ever, 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 ever only been a side piece. <laughs> I mean, how can you not understand what Jaden is going through? You know, it's hurtful. I've been both. You know, I've been the main. You know, I've been the I've been the girly friend. You know what I'm saying? And I've been the side hoe. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I've been the side piece. I've been on the side. You know, I wasn't. I, I remember I put myself as the side dish, you know, the mac and cheese or the string beans or the candy yams or the peach cobbler, you know, whatever. I've been that before, you know, so <laughs> I understand, but I also been the steak. I also, I also been <laughs> the ham. I've also been the turkey. <laughs> I also been the fried chicken, you know, so I've been all that, right? So, I mean, I don't get it. So I am, I don't get it when it comes to people, but I am hard when it comes to Krishan because when I was a side piece, I seen how it made me feel, you know what I'm saying? I know how it made me feel. At first it was funny. It was fun. It was cute to laugh at somebody else's pain. It was cause I didn't care cause it's a selfish thing. I don't care about how she feels. Why? Because her, cause her man want me and that's her problem because she needs to stop messing with somebody who want me you know whatever i i thought that whatever and i didn't give a damn she tried to call me woman to woman before and i said since you want to call me i need to tell you how he been effing me and, and and you know what you need to tell him stop stop curving his penis to the left because it's hitting my spots yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I was, I was crazy like that. You know, I, I make fun of it. But then after a while, now see, here's the problem. After a while, the side piece get to see what the main piece goes through, you know. So then after a while, you start realizing this motherfucker, you know what? He, <laughs> you start feeling like you going through main piece issues because he ain't right. It ain't fun no more, right? But in the same token, it's like, and then the disrespect is constant. It's always constant disrespect. And then you got to figure out, like, you got to ask yourself, girl, is you smoking crack? Are you smoking crack? And I had to sit down to myself and I had to be like, well, goddamn, I must be, am I stupid? I had to ask myself that because I'm like, I cannot believe I am being disrespected like this. But, you know, and I understand people like to say, oh, it takes time to get there, and it takes time. Oh, fuck that. I wish I had a motherfucking, I wish I had a time machine, and I can turn back the hands of time, and I can go to my past self, because I would slap the hell out of, my, out of my past self. You got me messed up. I would not let my past self go through that again, being a side piece like Krishan. You know, I would not, I would have never. It's so many things when it comes to these men's, these pseudo men's, you know, if I can turn back, it will be a lot of people I would have never talked to. As soon as they asked my number, I would have jumped out the window, okay? I would have ran stranger danger, okay? Okay? I would have hit the stranger danger. I would have yelled, screamed. He would have thought I was slow. I don't care, but I would not have been dealing with that dude. And you know what, people, and you know what, that's exactly why you should tell Krishan about herself. And you should tell Krishan to run, bitch, run, and get over this shit. You got to tell her that. But maybe, maybe I don't want to. But I, look, look, look. And then with Jayden, I mean, y'all need to tell her, run, bitch, run. Because to be honest, how much, how much disrespect do you got to take? Like, it ain't even fair. All you trying to do is love him and make a home in the family and support him. He want to do the most. You know, why Why you got to Why you gotta be disrespected in order for him to rise? That's messed up. Why you got to sacrifice 
yourself every day. And then, you know what I'm saying? How you feel? And then with, and with the kids, too. Like, it's like, why you got to go through all that? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, we as women, <laughs> you know, <laughs> y'all not going to like this. <laughs> because then I'm going to talk about black women, right? Because I'm black, too. We as black women need to do better with understanding that at the end of the day, injustice in one place is injustice in all places, okay? An injustice is an injustice. It does not matter what skin color you are. If someone is hurting someone, it is injustice. Both of these girls are sad and they're going through trauma in a way and they're putting themselves through that trauma too in order for this that and the third it's not fair for neither girl so it's no point to say there's no point to call and dating alexis stewie and this that and the third and, and, and she's ugly and all types of stuff for what she already feels ugly because he's cheating on her constantly she does so what's the point of doing that to her as a woman you know, you don't want to uplift her just like you uplift Krishan. If you're a Christian, is that not what you're supposed to do? When you see someone down and out, aren't you supposed to uplift them? It ain't just one person that you have to uplift. So, yeah. But I just find that funny, you know. So, I don't get it. But anyway, let me see. I done did my rant. That was 11 minutes ago. Girl, come on. Let's do this. So, what is... How does Jaden feel right now? Because, you know, we show Krishan Rock empathy and sympathy and understanding. But how is Jaden feeling right now after all these new allegations have come out? out of all these things like what what is it given now i feel sad for her i'm gonna tell you that i do okay let me get this right i empathize with her i i'm not sad i don't show sympathy for her i empathize for her but when it comes to all three children between Jaden, alexis and Krishan, i feel sad for them in that way i sympathize with them so let's get into it. How is Jaden Alexis feeling about all these allegations when they come to Blueface and Krishan coming out? One, two, three. And it's hurtful. And don't nobody. Jaden, you got the eight of, eight of Cups in the reverse, the Nine of Pentacles upright, <clears throat> and the Sun. Oh. Okay, so Jaden, and then the back is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Well, obviously, Jaden Alexis isn't feeling too bad. The tower's in the reverse. Okay, so... I don't know if she's over it or whatever, but we're going to figure out because I thought that she was about to feel a whole bunch of ways. I thought I was going to get a lot from this. Okay, so but I'm getting something different. So we're going to talk about the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You know, the Eight of Cups is usually walking away from something that no longer serves you because you don't find value in it. The Eight of Cups in the reverse could sometimes mean that you're staying in the situation because to you, there is still value in it, even though that you should walk away. Mm -hmm. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. It's a lucky card. Feeling lucky. It can also mean that I feel entitled to this. You know, I could have walked away. I should have walked away, but I'm here because I'm ready to get my blessings. I feel entitled to this. The Sun card is my abundance. It's my time. It's my time. Things can be coming out. Yeah, whatever. But this is my time. So, <laughs> so just like, <laughs> wow, they, they are dead serious. They are not leaving this man. <laughs> so I feel empathy. 
I understand. But this girl ain't leaving either. <laughs> okay. This girl ain't budging. She feels like it's her time. It's her time. Okay. It's her time. So the um the tower is in the reverse. These are like old habits. Usually the tower card is stuff that happened over time and it's rapid changes. It's a jump changes. You know, you have to tear down that tower so you can build a new. In the reverse, it could have already happened those tower moments, or it can be that you don't want this tower to fall, and you are you don't want to just let it go naturally, right, so you're stuck in those habits, right, um, so I'm just going to say, and then it's the nine of pentacles in the reverse, that back of the deck energy talks about someone who has independence, who has who has um, individual prosperity. It could even be single. But she's talking about her, how it's empowering her. She feels empowered. So if she she's in this situation because of something that she finds value in it that makes her feel empowered, maybe makes her money. So in this situation, yeah, damn, she ain't about change. Well, shit, that's what I got for y'all then, shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but in the same token, she ain't about to change right now. But in the same token, like I was giving my rent earlier, the fact of the matter is, it, I empathize with both. I, I've been both, right? And I just don't understand how people could root for one and, and understand one, but not root and understand the other. And sometimes I really think it's a race, it's a, it's a race issue. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's about, it's about, um, who we find appeasing. You know, I think it's about what people look like, you know, and the race. I honestly, I'm starting to think that because how can we in the collective as women understand one plight without understanding the other i don't know but honestly that's because i'm really thinking like that because i'm starting to think of a new concept of doing like some some open panels about femininity and stuff like that and masculinity and, and things like that right so i kind of see i see i, I kind of see what this problem is i'm starting to really formulate this problem when it comes to people being empathetic towards Krishan or Jayden, because i don't like i said i don't get it because we've all been as a collective one of one of the two and if you can show empathy for one you can show empathy for the other you see what i'm saying so that's all I'm saying. You can see where it's going on both sides. But that's all I'm saying, you guys. I love y'all for real peace. <laughs>